Hello everybody, this is Rob Swatsky from the York Campus of Hack, and welcome back to my Biology 121 Anatomy and Physiology 1 course. This is podcast 1.5e, Anatomical Terminology, Abdominopelvic Regions and Quadrants. There are two methods of dividing the abdominopelvic cavity into smaller areas in order to more easily describe the location of the internal organs contained within. The first method involves dividing the abdominopelvic cavity into nine abdominopelvic regions by arranging two horizontal and two vertical lines together into a tic-tac-toe grid. This nine region method is commonly used for anatomical studies in order to show more detail. The top horizontal line is the subcostal line, drawn just inferior to the rib cage. Subcostal means under the ribs. The bottom horizontal line is the transtubercular line, and it is drawn just inferior to the tops of the hip bones. The two vertical lines, called the midclavicular lines, are drawn through the midpoints of the clavicles, the collarbones. The names of the nine regions and their contents are The right hypochondriac region, meaning below the cartilage, a reference to the rib cartilage, which contains the gallbladder and parts of the right kidney and the liver. The epigastric region, meaning above the belly, located at the top of the middle column, which contains the duodenum and parts of the liver, stomach, and pancreas. The left hypochondriac region, which contains the spleen, parts of the stomach, left kidney, and large intestine. The right lumbar region, which contains parts of the large intestine, small intestine, and right kidney. The umbilical region, located in the center of the grid, which contains both the transverse colon and the small intestine. The left lumbar region, which contains of the large intestine, small intestine, and left kidney. The right inguinal, or iliac region, iliac is the largest part of the hip bone, which contains the bottom of the cecum of the colon, the appendix, and part of the small intestine. The hypogastric region, meaning below the belly, located at the bottom of the middle column, which contains the urinary bladder, sigmoid colon, and part of the small intestine.
and the left inguinal or iliac region contains parts of both the large and small intestine. The second method is the simpler of the two and just divides the abdominal pelvic cavity into four quadrants. In this method, a mid-sagittal or median line and a transverse or transumbilical line on intersecting through the umbilicus or navel. The quadrant method is more commonly used by clinicians to describe the site of pain, tumors, or some other abnormality. The names of the four quadrants are the right upper quadrant, commonly abbreviated RUQ, the left upper quadrant, or LUQ, the right lower quadrant, or RLQ, and the left lower quadrant, or LLQ. Thanks for watching, and please feel free to contact me by email at rjswatsk at hack.edu if you have any questions or comments about the course.